And what's up YouTube, Sam and Sauce here. And for today, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best big man build in 2K22 next gen. This is a center build and I can't even believe that this build is in the game because this this build is just unstoppable. You can basically do everything except handle the ball. You can finish, you can shoot, you can rebound, play defense, you could play pretty decent defense on the perimeter as well. And you're also decently fast for a center as well. So you got to make him 6'11". Not too tall, but also not too short. You make him too tall, you're going to be way too slow. You make him too short, you're going to get out-rebounded. 6'11 is really that perfect spot that I was able to find. And then for the weight, you want to do 229. You don't want to be too heavy. You want to be able to be quick. And you want to be able to jump up high to grab rebounds and also dunk. 6'7 wingspan, super long wingspan. But you're still going to have a pretty good jump shot, even though your wingspan is massive. Now going into the attributes. Look, you have a 90 close shot. I saved this all from before. So, 90 close shot. That's excellent. Driving layup. You don't even really need a driving layup as a center. So, you could lower it. But honestly, just having it there is very helpful. Because if you're, if you're driving dunk fails, usually centers miss a lot of their driving layups. You're not going to miss your driving layups with this center, with the 82 layup. And you get 26 uh, finishing badges too. That's a lot of finishing badges. So you're going to be able to put on a lot of big man stuff. But you're also going to be able to put maybe fearless finisher. You get gold posterizer. I mean, you, you could basically do everything you want in the paint with this guy. Standing dunk, 90. That's excellent. Post control, you want to put 68 because if you lower it, you're going to lose that silver back down punisher. Back down punisher is very important, especially if you want to do a little something in the post. Maybe you'll get a switch. Point guards guarding you. You could easily back him down with that. Now, shooting. I can't even believe I was able to make his shooting this good. Look, mid-range 84. That's excellent. 78 three point. That's not the best, but again, 23 shooting badges. You put the right badges on this guy. You put corner specialist silver, catch and shoot silver. You could definitely do the post fade badge on this guy too. You know, you got silver green machine, gold hot zone hunter. You could do the limitless range. I forget what it's called in this game. It's called something else. Doesn't matter. You could put that on as well. You're going to be able to shoot really well with this build, especially because shooting in this game is much easier than it was in 2K21 last year. Then the free throw is a 93. I don't even know how I got the free throw to be this high. You don't even have to make the free throw this high, honestly. You could lower it and put it into your steel if you want. Lower it into the 70s if you want. could throw that into your steel doesn't go up too high, it's a 50. I don't think you need it. So I like putting that on the free throw, just because I like making all my free throws. I like playing rec. If you don't play rec, get rid of the free throws. Just get rid of it. If you don't play rec or pro-am or my career, if you only play park, or if you only play in the event center or any up, get rid of free throw because you don't need it. And just throw it into other stuff that you do need. Pass accuracy, 85. That's such a good pass accuracy. You don't need ball handler speed with ball. You're a center. You're not going to be handling the ball. But pass accuracy, look. You got gold bullet passer, hall of fame break starter, silver dimer. I mean, 12 playmaking badges. I'm, well, not 12 playmaking badges. Badge points. Badge points are really stupid, by the way. But that's a whole different discussion. Then we got the rebounding. Interior defense, 90. Very good. Perimeter defense. As a 6'11 center, you get a 68 perimeter defense. That's not too high, but again, you have to remember, you're a 6'11 center. If you get switched onto a point guard, you're going to be able to do a decent job keeping up with them. You're going to be able to go out, put a hand up, try, your, try to do your best to guard the three. That's going to be really helpful. Steel, I don't think is as helpful as a center. Some guys like to upgrade it, but too many attribute points for me. Block, 95. No one's going to score on you. The reason you want 95, that's where you get, if you look on the right, that's exactly when you get your 31st badge. And look at uh, Intimidator. It goes from gold when it's 94, goes to Hall of Fame when it's 95. You want that Hall of Fame Intimidator. 
and then rebounding 91 reason you want 91 is because if it was 90 rebound chaser would drop to silver i do kind of wish i could have gotten it to hall of fame but then we would have to make his arms longer we're gonna have to sacrifice more shooting and you're gonna need really high rebounding to get that but gold is good enough you still get a uh, hall of fame box so you're fine speed 70 that's excellent acceleration you don't even need acceleration the only reason it's up to 55 is because it goes up as speed goes up that's the only reason acceleration is even upgraded or else i wouldn't have upgraded it because you don't need it as a center acceleration only helps when you're handling the ball strength 72 could be better but again we we want to be fast 72 is still pretty good strength vertical 82 you want to put that up because you want to go up to grab rebounds you want to go up to dunk on people very important and stamina you don't want to get gassed 98 you're good you're not going to get gassed with that for the takeovers there's a lot of different ways you could approach the takeovers i mean obviously if you want to go for one of the defensive ones these are excellent if you want to go for one of the rebounding ones then i really like these you could do a combination of these two right here, see the future and box out wall. I really like see the future. You know exactly where the rebound is headed. You could also do one of these. Interior bad drop is really good. Paint intimidation. I think this might be a little bit better. Stuff blocks is really good, but I, I like contesting shots more than blocking them because sometimes with blocks, you might foul them or I don't know. So I, I just feel like just contesting shots is better than going for blocks all the time. That's just how I feel, especially because you could press Y, basically just uh, go up for the block. Maybe they were pump faking, you went up and then dr they draw a foul on you. That that's why I like paint intimidation a little bit more. And then obviously you have the shooting ones. I mean, you could go in so many different directions with this build, depending on what your team needs. But I understand how important rebounding is. I think box out wall is going to be the best choice for your primary. Secondary, again, if you want to go full rebounding, see the future is such a good one. But for this particular build, I'm going to go with paint intimidation. If you go for the spot up precision as your secondary, that's a really good one too. But I'm going to go defense and rebounding for this guy. Two way stretch glass cleaner. I mean, what else do you want from a center? He, he, he could play defense, he could score, he could grab rebounds, and he could, most importantly, he can shoot. He can spread the floor. How many centers are going to be able to do that for you? Not much, but this guy can, and he could do everything else really well too. If you guys like this build, make sure you like and subscribe because I have more videos coming about other builds. I already made two videos on the shooting guards, so go check both of those out. And I'm also going to be making a point guard, small forward, and a power forward. So make sure you guys check all those videos out. If you have friends that need to make a good build, send them some of these videos. Help them out. Make sure they're not stuck with a trash build. Because I've been stuck with a trash build before and it sucks. Make sure you guys are making good builds from the start. So you don't have to restart and then buy VC. Or even worse, have to grind your way up and just waste a bunch of time. So make sure you guys are making good builds right from the start. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I got my green hair on to remind you guys to eat your vegetables and also have yourselves a very splendid day. Hey.